That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Don't you love it when computers have a mind of their own right now? Uh, nice to have everybody on board. It really, really is. If you're a first-time viewer, special welcome to you, literally. Now, I'll tell you what, why not become part of the family? We call it the noise here at Galaxy simply because, and believe me, we get this, you do have a voice. And we get all the medias. We really, really, we even got a letter a couple of weeks ago. So believe me, <clears throat> we get them. Didn't even know we had posties left, but okay, we got one. So uh, yeah, become part of the family. Subscribe, okay? Uh, that way also uh, notifications, because we have important people, much like Robert Van Tell coming out of Long Island today. Gosh, I'm excited about this. I really, really am. And you know the thummy thing? <clears throat> You know what to do with it, right? Get epileptic. Absolutely. In the meantime, yes, joining us out of Long Island today is Robert Fantel. And we're going to kick it off with You Mean the World to Me, right here in Galaxy. So, Robert, that gives us a moment to get to know each other. Sounds great. <laughs> How's Long Island? Not bad. Beautiful day today, you know? It's <clears throat> been a long time since I've been there. Really, huh? Yeah. How man. long? Oh, I'm um, thinking maybe about 27 years ago, something like that. That would have yeah. changed. But, yeah, it would have changed Oh, Donnie lot. Coulter. Oh, okay. Nice to have Donnie How on about board. some music, Donnie? Yeah, come on, Donnie. Show us I your music. Me. Bring your music out. <laughs> Meet Robert uh, up here. I see the boss is watching, too. I've got to yeah. be nice. <laughs> well, either that, because she's got some new heavy stuff to throw at me, you see what I mean? So, yeah. And it has happened in the past. <laughs> it has happened in the past. Oh, I've got a square bit at the back here that you don't see. You see, it's. <laughs> yeah, you like a book. Hi, Don, we'll see you soon. Like a book? Yeah. She used to say, here, Facebook. How's the gold Bang. today, Don? <laughs> Boom. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, she must look all in. Oh, okay. Birds of a feather. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, it seems like we've got the same taste in women there, my friend. Good. So, uh, <laughs> did he, did he <laughs> have to get a haircut Definitely. today, like last time? Who's getting a haircut? Last time he had to get a haircut. Oh, he got a haircut the last time. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, you didn't give it a chance. Oh, hi, Franco. Still working on music, Don X, yes. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. <clears throat> We've got Don Allen coming up this week. Don Allen is coming up this week. Yes, oh, yes yeah. absolutely. Love Don Allen. Uh, Robert, I've got to let you know that you're building quite a fan club here at Galaxy. Really? You really are. So, that's, uh, that's awesome. Thank you. Well, you, <coughs> mean, you mean the world to me at the moment is sitting on 1,219 requests. And we're going to go on to means. As, as we play these, they go up in, in, in numbers of how many requests have been asked for it. Because we play a lot of you. More than you think. Wow. We really do. We have you on Monday night. We have you in the Vector Show. We have you on Sunday as nice well through the country you. shows. Stuff like that. Oh, it is Robert. <laughs> we play a Thank lot of you. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank it's, everybody. It's wow. ab absolutely I'm good. amazed. Franco Nanucci's watching. Nice to have Franco with us. We've got about a minute and ten to go, and then we'll go live to the desk after that, okay? Okay. Franco, nice to see you. How's um, Rock Flowers? Have to get in touch with each other again, please. You know, we'd love some new music, Franco. <laughs> really would. And, uh, of course, uh, we love Rock Flowers. We might be able to get them back into India. You never know yet. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> In fact, we've got a Kiwi band breaking the ice for us in India. Yes, we do. Lazy 50. Yeah, Lazy 50 is going to be there um, for the big big show this year. This is fun. Anyway, awesome. let's go to the desk.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and believe me, absolutely elated because today we're joined by Robert Fantel. Welcome to Galaxy, Robert. Hey, what's up everybody? How's everything going, DJ Grant? Uh, uh, look, good? Absolute honour to meet you, Sarah. It really, really is and believe me, I'm a big fan of your music. Now, uh, I've been an engineer now almost... 40 odd years, uh, I'm not going to put an yeah. exact number on it, but I've been around <laughs> a little bit, and, and believe me Robert, uh, I've worked with some of the, not only the biggest bands in the world, but some of the most prestigious recording studios as well, not only doing front of house, but doing in-house as well, and it's not often that I find, an in, well, a, a bit of music that just encapsulates my imagination so I needed to know a little bit more about you. And, uh, you know, You Mean the World to Me was the first song I heard of yours. And yeah. I've got to be honest with you, I absolutely love it. So give me the skinny on this. Tell me a little bit about this track. Okay, well, it started off, it's a song for my wife, Darlene. And I was able to put my emotions into the words behind it. Um, I wanted it to be something really special um, because, you know, as an artist, you could give out, you could play music, but when you put that personal touch to it, it becomes like something else, you know, and uh, my wife loves it, thank God. <laughs> I guess I did go with that, so. <laughs> you know, I absolutely do get it, and... Uh... Absolutely love Darlene as well, too, by the way. So, uh, lucky lady, because believe me, a lot of right. people are requesting this, if you know what I mean. So, you know, it, it's absolutely making a huge, huge inroad now. And now that people know all about the backstory, I'm sure you're going to get a lot more uh, requests for it. I really, really awesome. am. Uh, now, uh, a young lady coming out of Palermo, Italy, her name is Teresa, is asking, give me all the links. How do we get hold of you? Okay. Um, I basically tried to make it easy. It's Robert Fantel Music. Um, there's the website, Robert Fantel Music. It's on Facebook, Robert Fantel Music. Spotify, everything is Robert Fantel Music. So um, um, it's a longer name, but it's more distinctive. You know, you can, it's easy to find, you know. So, uh I mean, it's everywhere. The music is streaming worldwide, as you know, which I'm so excited about. And um, it's, we just made it simple. You know, we try. <laughs> yeah, no, I do get that. I really, really do. And I've got to let you know, we're in every English-speaking country in the world, and some that aren't, Robert. Honestly, I don't know how that works, but I'm going to take it anyway. <laughs> you know, it's a, really, it's just like going down that old country road, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, and I think that's a good segue, actually. So, country road, tell me yes. about this. Because, believe me, 1,577 requests for it so far, and climbing. I know I'm going to see it again in the morning. So, uh, tell me about this track. Well, first of all, I'm so grateful. That's fantastic. And the biggest thing to me is I, I just wanted my music to be heard. Um, and you guys doing that, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart, everybody. Um, Country Road started when Darlene and I went for a ride. Um, we're, dri we're driving down one of the major highways. And ironically, um, we got off the highway just to hit a rest stop, and it was beautiful. The area. So uh, instead of getting back on, I didn't. I kept on going, and we came up to this small little intersection. I made a right hand turn, and we were amazed. It was beautiful. I mean, it was country, you know? Um, and sometimes we forget all about that, you know, like that beauty that is out there. We don't get to visualize that on an everyday basis because we're so busy with our work lives and family and when you have that opportunity oh my god it, it's it's beautiful you know and that's what we did and so i started trying to describe everything and um i i wanted to make sure that i got that point across you know in the song 
Well, and, I, uh, from Robert, I really do yeah. feel that you achieved that very, very well. I really, really do. Uh, Thank you. In the meantime, believe me, and uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of saying to everybody, see your own backyard before you go and see somebody else's. Go and get to know your own country first. Yes. So, joining us right here, right now, is Robert Van Tal with Country Road on Galaxy. <laughs> it's not going to catch you off there, my friend. <clears throat> no, it's okay. That's fine. Sometimes I, I talk too much. <laughs> my wife tells me that all the time. <laughs> yeah, mine does too. In fact, my, even Barbara tells me I talk too much. But I, you see, I get more. paid to do that. Right? I do. <laughs> I get paid to do it. Um, you see in San Francisco this I morning in the news, there was a big circus fire. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah, it was intense. Do you like to think out of the box, Robert? Are you one of these guys? That, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying. All right. What, so, what do you mean, what's Johnny? faster, um, hot or cold? Mm. Hi, Jeremiah. That's a good question. Thank you for uh, watching. I would say cold. Really? I'd say hot because you can always catch a cold. <laughs> now that's one I gotta remember for my grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you remember Captain Kirk, William Shatner? Yes. Yeah, I, I see his country, of course he's Canadian, right? I uh, see the government has made him recall his lingerie line. <laughs> Yeah, apparently Shatner Panties isn't a good name. <gasps> You're so <laughs> naughty. It has to be R18 now. <laughs> it's good. Oh, I've got to put an A. Uh, look, I'm sorry, it's not. It's rated E for everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to put a number on it. Come on. Bonnie is watching. Hello, Bonnie. Bonnie Puppin, who's in your Puppin house is watching. I like the new submission that she's passed on to yeah. us. There's an artist in there that she's passed on over the last day or so we that I've been having a look at. four more tracks for an interview, Bonnie. Jeremiah Jordan Ash is watching as well now. Hi. Jeremiah, I'm looking forward to meeting you, oh. sir, in the near future as well. So Climbing cool. up our charts. Yeah. Like Robert Fantel here, I'm not getting through a breakfast show without actually seeing your name. <laughs> it's, it's quite true, Robert. I'll let you know more about it very shortly. Yeah. That's right, I've got to turn my mic on to make it work. Gosh, I've been yeah. too busy talking to be on. Well, I do it for a living, don't I? Uh, today we're talking to Robert Fantel coming out of Long Island, New York. And uh, absolutely love, love, love Long Island. I really, really do. It's been a long time since I've been there. And uh, Rob, you mind if I call you Rob? Of course. Yeah, feel free. Yeah. My wife calls me a, a ton of things. Yeah, mine too. Mostly nothing I can repeat on a microphone, to be honest with you. But, uh, Robert, believe me, uh, here at Galaxy, you have been getting a huge following since the very first time we met you uh, and heard of you. Uh, Barbara says to me, Robert asked me how much this is going to cost him. Uh, first of all, Robert, honestly, we never, 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 ever charge an artist ever for what we do. Not ever. Um, At all. Wow. <laughs> Barbara gets about 200 submissions of bands a day. So, believe me, we've got to be vicious in our choosing of what we do. Literally, we only have a certain amount of time per month, per, you know, per week to be able to do these interviews, play 
you know, a lot of music, everything like that. So believe me, it's very limited as to what we can do. So 200 a day is a phenomenal (laughs) amount, I've got to be honest. Uh, So we only play the best of the best. And you've ticked all the boxes. Literally, you've gone past Barbara, past production, past the... uh, uh, Literally, we we have a board meeting once a month, and you've got to get past them. Their only concern is our image. Seriously, I think that's stupid because they let me talk to people after that. (laughs) Honestly, I'm no good for our image. I'm not. I'm really not. Uh, But then it comes to me, and Barbara gives it to me in a little USB device, and I play that in my car. Now, I do that for two reasons. Uh, First reason is literally nobody else can influence on influence me on whether or not I want to do the interview, if you know what I mean. I get no yeah. information. I have the best stereo in my car, really. Uh, but it doesn't give me any any idea about the artist or the title. I don't, have no idea who they are and what the title is of the song. I just base it on the music. The second reason, Robert, is yeah, nobody else wants to drive with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite true, believe me. Okay, man. I, I could go down that road with you, but believe me, it's quite true. It really is. <laughs> oh, uh, Donnie wants to purchase a Galaxy T-shirt. Yeah, we'll have to get it. <laughs> we'll have to get one to you, brother, man. You, you okay. run done. Yeah, we'll get one for you. Don't worry. Uh, but having said that, my friend, I'm absolutely fascinated with the amount of people that have, I call it adopted you. To be very honest with you, now, I, I get to work mm-hmm. maybe about 9.30 at night, and i got to go right. past reception to get to my office, literally. So, uh, Sarah, my absolute darling of a reception lady, she leaves out three USBs for me. One's on stats, basically performance of how we work globally in the day. Uh, the next one is important documents that i got to address, literally, being the CEO of the company. Uh, and that's a daily thing. And I wish it wasn't, but it is. But the next one is just simply named Noise. And that's because of all the family from around the world that request artist and track. And I'm going to be honest with you, I am seeing your name on the list every morning. And that's phenomenal. Every morning? Every morning. Oh, Oh my God. Whether, uh, whether where it's placed, whether or not it actually does get played, because again we're down to about four hours and we have maybe about twelve hours worth of artists there, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So we, we yeah. cut through it, you know, as we can, uh, and, and believe me, you get played quite consistently. Now, I think that's not only worth the party. I think it's worth throwing a party, to be honest. Yeah. So I, I think we should discuss maybe, just maybe, tell me about a party. <laughs> well, first of all, if you're ever on Long Island, come here. <laughs> Our home is always welcome to you guys. Um, I started off being one of those songs where everybody's, everybody in the U.S., and I, I, I know abroad... There were some countries that locked people down. You know, you couldn't go out during the pandemic, you know? And uh, I had just, I'm very optimistic, you know? So um, I was tired of uh, being, seeing everybody depressed. And what I wanted everybody to do was just visualize, visualize that, you know, tomorrow, maybe the next day or next week, guess what? We're going to be out of this, and we're going to go, and we're going to have good times again, because that's what it's about. Life is about having good times. You know, I embrace that. I embrace that totally. Um, you have good friends, good times, and what do you usually have? A party, you know? So, uh, yeah, would be that's how party came to be, and uh, ever since, I mean, I've had... Uh, people ask me to play it out live, of course, and everybody loves the song. Everybody gets into it, you know, and so I'm, I'm like, excited. You know, I, it, I give, like, one of the best 
than I can for it when I play. So. Well, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, my friend. 1,899 requests, almost 1,900 requests since we've been playing it right here at Galaxy. Here's Robert Fantel live party. <laughs> How you feeling, Robert? You okay? Yes, I, I couldn't hear you. How you feeling? You okay? Yeah, yeah. Am I seeming a little too anxious? No, no, you're fine. Believe me, I see your boss is watching too. <laughs> you darling. <laughs> Hi, darling. Hey, darling. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> hey, Amazing. Hey, darling. Come on. Sorry? Come to Long Island. Yeah. The doors are open to you guys if you come. All yeah. right, well, I'm on the next yeah. plane. <laughs> Warm way. my plane up. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Uh, right. Robert, when we finish this, um, don't go anywhere because, A, the staff are going to be taking photos and stuff. We will give you a copy of everything we've done today, literally. Um, we'll put it into a movie. Barbara will make a movie for you. And... Um, Oh, wow. I, I usually say to people, okay, fair enough, show it to friends and family, they'll automatically love it because it's you. But me personally, I say to people, show it to somebody you don't like. Right. Not only That's is it a true. damn good boast, let's be honest, but usually that puts a fire under their tuchus and they get in touch with us and say, hey, i got a band too. You know what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. So it, it's sort of... Without people like you, oh, okay. I don't have a job. So I need people like you. Okay. Well, I'm in contact with so many people. I will definitely get you guys, you know, whoever you want, well, that I know. And I will definitely share whatever nice. you get me. Nice. 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 <laughs> um, Shall we talk about I'm just the, really yeah. excited about this. Okay. Uh, Robert, I've got one more thing I want to talk to you about once we finish this because it's about promoting you a little bit more than what we can do here uh, on another okay. level, if that's okay with you. So uh, the, the promotions don't stop with this, okay? They don't, okay. literally. And uh, we, we've got our fingers in a number of different things that uh, not only is it exciting, mm -hmm. but believe me, uh, it's opening up doors for artists that would never be heard in countries that never do here, this music. Wow. You know, and I'm talking about That's that great. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Oh, believe me. Um, let's put it this way. The papers have been signed. <laughs> yes. Nice. Nice. That's right, I've got to turn the mic on again. Gosh, Grant, you're getting to be a habit on this one. Very, very cool of you, really. Uh, party tonight, absolutely love, love, love that track. I really, really do. And, uh, well, I'm going to be honest with you, absolutely, you've made a lot of people very, very happy with your music coming up. Uh, so, basically, I know that American Strong is the most requested track right now but I am going to ask you uh, anything in the in the can have you got anything coming up in the near future I actually have about three songs coming up uh, we got a little pushback last year because we lost our uh, pulp um, so everything stopped for a while um, and but we really grouped and, and three songs are in the works and I think you're really going to like them. <laughs> Very cool. Because uh, the reason why I'm asking this is maybe, just maybe, you might want to come back for another interview. Maybe we can release new music for you. Would would that be okay with yes. you? That'd be great. Great. Absolutely. Brilliant. I love it. 
Absolutely brilliant. Uh, now, Travis out of Washington State is asking, you know, you're coming into summer over that way. Anything as far as national tours involved? You got any festivals coming on, anything like that? Well, the whole goal for this year, since we had such a detour last year, was to go and just create, get the songs out there, and do a couple of like little gigs here and there. But next year is going to be the big push. So uh, we're expecting to see some major performances, we should say. I'm not on site, you know. Well, that's exciting. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to keep us in the loop so that we can give you a bit of a push as well. Definitely. We would love for that. We would love that ourselves. Now, uh, i got to be honest with you, Robert. Uh, and I've got to thank you for your voice drop. I really, really do, because uh, yeah. the boys in production just love playing with people's voice drops. They really, really do. And they love playing okay. with their music. Now, uh, I've struck over the uh, time that they've been doing this. Normal music played and introduced by a DJ gets to a certain point in the request scenario, right? But you see, yep. the DJs don't always announce who's being played. So therefore, yes. sometimes people like the music but just don't know who it is. <laughs> you got what I mean? So, of yes. course, now we've added your voice track on top of American Strong. It's gone from a basic 12, 1300 request to way over 3712 requests so far. And climbing, I see the song every morning in my breakfast show. It haunts me, absolutely, this is brilliant, because people now know who you are. It's awesome. <laughs> it really, Thank you so much. Uh, believe me, it's an absolute honour, an absolute pleasure to play it, and you know something? We're loving it right here at Galaxy, we really are. Here, joining us live is Robert Fantel, his most requested track, American Strong. Give me a 30 second delay. Thank you. Morning in my breakfast show. It <laughs> haunts me absolutely. This is brilliant because people now know who you are. It is awesome. <laughs> Thank really, you so much. Uh, believe me, it's an absolute honor, an absolute pleasure to play it. And you know something? We're loving it right here at Galaxy. We really are here. Oh. Joining us live is Robert Fantel, his most requested track. American Strong. Hey everyone, this is Robert Fantel Music from Lindenhurst, New York, and you're listening to Barbara and DJ Grant on Galaxy 107 FM, playing music that's just out of this world. Galaxy FM. See, now that works. <laughs> that beautiful. That works. Uh, the two boys in production, of course, one's Gonzo and one's Toblerone. <laughs> well, that's actually my name's for them. Uh, one has a gonzo on his desk and the other one likes chocolate. Okay. Ah, okay. So they're my pet names for them. Uh, but, you know, don't tell them, but I think they're quite genius at what they do. <laughs> Without a doubt. That, that was an awesome intro. Oh my god. Yeah, absolutely. So, what I'm going to say to you is, when you bring out new music, how would you like to bring out some new voice tracks that we can drop over top, introducing the song yourself? Sure. Anything you want, I'm up for it. Brilliant. Um, um, yeah. As, as long as it's time to <laughs> slot it on there before the uh, vocals of the track, you know what I mean? Yep, yep, definitely. Awesome, awesome. And of course, this you, is so cool. You, of course you do realise MP3, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm, nice, nice. Donnie Coulter says sounds oh. good. Yeah, absolutely sounds good, my friend. Gotta be honest, brilliant. Ah, dear, dear. You gotta tell you, this is phenomenal. You know. Okay. Well, you guys do such a great job. I I turn in, I turn in, and you guys are always up the. You know, you're always out. It, it's great. You, you don't know? have to be nuts to work here, but it helps. Here we are up beat. <laughs> Here we are up beat, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, hi. Barbara can't help but look at me and uh, uh, laugh. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't seem to me. 
Um, now, how many countries are changing right now? John, I've been turned off now. How are you today? Oh, thank, thank you for joining us. 161. Okay, not bad. 161 countries tuned in right now. 161 <laughs> countries. Oh, you, the big number at the end is the one you no, want, but how many go. cities? Okay. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, 5,619 oh. cities around the world right now tuned in. Including Russia. <laughs> Including Russia. Iceland. Iceland. Iceland's tuned in. Okay. Yeah, nice. I've got a friend up there. What's his name? Erin or Erin or That's right, you're right, here we go, it's the 107FM, I see John Michaels has tuned in, of course, from Creation Pie, coming out of Orlando, Florida, nice to have you on board. Really, really is. No, that's Dave Michaels, isn't it? Yeah, yeah sorry, wrong Michaels, ha, <laughs> never mind. From Tauranga. He's, of course, from Tauranga, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. and the Black Brothers, yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to make a concert, be there at his concert a couple yeah. of weeks ago, and I had car problems. Happens sometimes, it really does. Worse at times too. Uh, today we're talking to Robert Van Tell coming out of Long Island in New York. Now, uh, the last time I spoke to somebody from around that area, in fact, uh, New Jersey's not that far away, is it? No, it's not at all. It's maybe an hour, if that. Yeah, just down the road. A uh, young lady by the name of uh, Randy O'Neill. Uh, I was doing an interview with her for the very first time coming out of New Jersey, and I says, ah, oh, you come from New Jersey? She goes, Grant, <laughs> you could drive cabs around here. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I couldn't, no, no, I couldn't, really. Couldn't do a hack at all. Really couldn't. <laughs> so, my friend, this brings us to the end of our interview, and uh, we'd love, love, love for you to come back again. Of course, darling, we've gone past love on to darling technical advisor expert absolutely brilliant job today well done <laughs> love it love it love it we have audio which is absolutely <laughs> essential uh, so we would love to have you back again but please don't go anywhere because uh, okay. i've got a couple of things i want to discuss with you just okay. before you do go though i am going to ask you are you familiar with the galaxy artist page on facebook yes i'm on it Yes. Okay, well, <laughs> all I can say there is use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. And if I haven't mentioned it, use it. Uh, use it. The amount of people that go through there having a look, it could be anybody from a promoter, from a label, right down to somebody just, you know, being nosy like I am. But the more times <laughs> you're in there, the more times people get to know who you are, the more times they go and find out more about you and you build your fan base that way. So if you gotcha. get if you got a new movie or a new video, a new oh. track coming out, going to the opening of a shoebox, I really don't care. Use it because it gets people awesome. familiar with you. Um, again, I'm going to say we'd love to have a few more uh, voice drops from you. Again, the more times Definitely. that we get to be able to play your name, play your voice, everything like that, again the association is there. You know what I mean? And as yes. as you can see. Definitely. With your own track and with what we've done with your track, the uh, difference is quite phenomenal, really. Yeah, so it is fantastic. Love it. Mm -hmm. I really, really do. Robert, it has been an absolute honour to meet you, my friend. It really, really is. I can see that we're going to have a wonderful relationship over the next forthcoming 400 years. <laughs> we're going to be around for that long. We really are. So, Robert, all I can say is, darling, Robert... Welcome to the family. Oh, thank you so much, DJ Grant, Barbara. Um, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate what you guys do. You guys have an incredible station. 
And I'd really like to say thank you to all the listeners out there. It, it really makes me so, like, so happy, you know, to know that my songs, you, you guys enjoy them. It means a lot to me. Well, you know? Robert, all I can say there is don't stop doing what you do. Please. Okay. Well, without people like you, I don't have a job, you see. So I, it, gotcha. it, it, it's, <laughs> it's a two-way street, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yes. And I believe so in other it. words, get into the studio and make some more music. Yeah, right? yeah, move that tushy on there. <laughs> Go on, get it done. <laughs> Darnell's saying you're <laughs> awesome. Uh, darling, thank you very much, very much. Uh, but in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of another gas interview. Join me again on Friday. I've got two more coming up. You're going to love it. In the meantime, happy radio, everyone.